Okay, here on the rush, my name is Mguru Kimani. Yes, we told you we come to the streets, we come where you are, we want to see what you do, the art that you do. And today we're at at corner all the way in Buru Buru, what I slando. I hope you're good. Please comment there, like, share to I'm where where in Buru Buru you, you're watching this from. As you can see, I'm all glammed up. There's this Kiondo looking so lovely. I love the design. I am one person who loves uh Art and viandas in particular because me i'm obsessed with with bags i'm not even lying so yeah thank you so much for having us karibu sana kwa artistic friday here on the rush what's your name thank you very much um welcome to buruburu my name is chris onwanda i'm a resident artist here at art corner and i'm a craftsman i deal with uh, mostly bamboo work and i also do paint work and uh, among the various things that we also do here um, art is very diverse and you'll come to see later on in uh, the video videos some of the things that we have created here thank you so much behind us i can see nairobi city i can see the wildlife there elephants roses over here crazy uh, a flamingo over there so tell me so what prompted you guys to even think about you know what we want to do art and i don't believe you're just one person so you can even also introduce the rest of the crew to us as much as we are not seeing them on the screen probably just tell us what art corner is about yeah well art corner is um established by um, a man called jirani david and uh, he put together a group of artists um who have studied art in uh, different universities and colleges and just people who are enthusiastic about art itself and what we did is we decided to make original authentic um, thematic pieces art which invokes a message just beyond making pictures and we decided to stick to traditional art and use mediums like oil on canvas and acrylic paint so that we can still um, create a large value through an uh, indigenous level of uh, doing art so most of our pieces are original you'll never see a replica anyway and some of them are sketches actually from our mind we're very deep thinkers so there's a lot of philosophy behind our art there's a lot of deep messages and when customers come here we share with them about the, the, the message behind the art uh, so that they can um, resonate with what we're trying to reflect when you talk about deep thinking I just want us to go right into it there's Nairobi here at least I can identify KICC tell me what's some Something deeper about this um, art piece that we are seeing right now. Well, this piece, um, the artist is able to create an atmosphere whereby you can even tell the weather and the time at which they're taking this photo. You can tell... This, the city under the sun. <laughs> the city under the sun. Uh -huh. That's in the evening from uh, Upper Hill when you're uh, heading to town. A lot of people enjoy this view when they're walking to town to cut on some fair through Uhuru Park. Uh -huh. And it's a familiar sight to a lot of us who have walked in Nairobi when you've uh, experienced some challenging times. And uh, this is also an evening picture to show you that the day is about to end and that uh, another day is about to start tomorrow so it's uh, successful or sorrowful so it's something that can swing both sides and uh, you can also tell that the weather is very good it's not rained and uh, it's just a beautiful sunset on an evening in Nairobi so there's more than just um, putting buildings together there's just something that it sparks even if it looks incomplete to the artist it's more than complete What I'm seeing right now currently is cars coming in and probably going to the other side and people obviously when you pass by this place the first thing you notice is the art because I've been here several years. I mean in land or I won't lie. <laughs> I've been here several years and the first thing I notice when I take this stand probably when I'm driving is the art that I'm seeing. So what made you settle for this location? This place is home to us. Uh, this is a place where we come for entertainment. We meet up with our friends. So we decided why not do something productive and start doing art as well. And it has turned out to be a career for us. It has turned out to be something whereby we can bring in people who are struggling or people who uh, cannot discover their talents. And then we can train them on this and we can inspire them to also uh, live their dreams through the simple talents that are in front of them. Tell me 
see something that art does to the community that is beneficial that you know what at the end of the day when people are here around Islands, around wherever they're living they feel like you know what i need to appreciate art for what it is to our people and me as a person in particular Art is a second nature to us as humans and we cannot separate ourselves from art. So what we're doing is that we're trying to infuse this art into the normal culture whereby you can have a shop where you only sell original art and it's something that the community benefits from it because it keeps the community safe. There's a philosopher from Russia called Fyodor Dovetsky who said beauty will save the world. So you find that the community benefits a lot through beauty that we cannot um, we cannot not notice it at face value but keeping places beautiful makes the community more secure makes people more positive it creates an energy that is on the subconscious but uh, it's very alive so are you just born an artist or is it something that you grow learning to do the best thing about art is that it gives you the best of both worlds and that it is very inclusive in its nature that you can both be trained as an artist you can be born as an artist or you can just nurture your way into art uh, using things like education and tutorials and working under certain artists so there's no real barrier to entering art and to becoming a great artist it's something that you just harness um, through practicing through trial and error most of the art is about the tenacity and the uniqueness because humans have the innate ability to create things and and they are actually molded in in the design of a creator in the image of a creator so they have this ability to create but that tenacity to create is what they lack so for most artists i think what the problem is that we're having is that people are not completing the work that they are starting so if we have more people completing the work we're starting more artists can enter the industry and you don't need to be trained you don't need to be the best you just need to do diy show tenacity be intentional with your art get out there display your art represent yourself as an artist and then you're gonna make it because guys only take you for what you take yourself as what are some of the challenges that you being as you being an art person that you guys face in the day-to-day -day life no actual structure for art so now we have a lot of people in the industry who claim to be artists but they're not artists because they're, 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 there's no structure or there's no body to regulate this is an artist or that is not an artist so you find now we have an industry that has a bad reputation and very negative stereotypes because now even people who, uh, who are not commendable members of the society can can describe themselves as artists and then include themselves in the same reputation as artists so we find that we not protected by a professional sort of organization that can show that we are doing art as a profession and not as a form of leisure or to hide other intentions that we have maybe which are nefarious so another thing that we are facing in art is uh, as a challenge is funding and um, things like in inclus inclusivity into the education system which is obviously reducing because of the introduction of uh, the CBC learning system so funding in art has been a major challenge because the best talent is usually in very remote places in this country or in this world and these are things that we need to be exploited because art creates things like inventors and it creates more things that people millions of people benefit from beyond our lifetime apart from just coming here here on location how can we get you guys in an easy way um, okay most of our artists are using their own individual handles uh, to be accessed because uh, at some point you know success becomes personal and failure also becomes personal <laughs> so uh, most artists here are using their own but we have our, uh, we are running um, a YouTube channel it's called Buruburu TV so right there we have uh, some live performances that we've been doing here because we're also into some music and then we'll be also doing some live paintings there we are a bit new to the online space because we've been doing in uh, traditional art and it's still been gaining traction so we're entering the online space and very soon we'll be on um, all the social media sites here okay. so for every person who does art here at art Konya is individual apart from now buruburu tv on youtube okay thank you so much for coming through yes thank you so much for having us